Item number SCP-5406, Object Class Euclid, Security Level 1, Special Containment Procedures. All known SCP-5406 instances are collectively held within Aquatic Containment Habitat Alpha at Site 402. Instances are to receive the standard maintenance required for their species. CE Parasolology Maintenance Manual 78C. New instances are to be provided an time housing unit upon containment or birth. Each unit is to have a numerical symbol printed on the surface, designating the instance. Description SCP-5406 is a species of molluscoid organisms currently inhabiting large hollow river ducts. Note, also known as an anatine housing unit. Observed instances range in size from approximately 10 to 12 meters in length. The rubber ducts the instances reside within are identical to each other, approximately 8 meters in height and 5 meters in length, and composed of a waterproof synthetic rubber. Utilizing the aperture constructed in the underside of the anatine housing unit, an SCP-5406 instance will use the foot appendage for aquatic locomotion. Once in a stationary position, the SCP-5406 instance retracts its foot and will protrude its head from the cavity to consume nutrients from the water. SCP-5406 instances seek nourishment from petroleum-contaminated waters. Instances glean this nourishment by ingesting up to 200 liters of contaminated water per hour. Enzymes within the SCP-5406 instance break down and absorb the petroleum within the water before expelling the access and now clean fluid. Discovery On 2018, July 20th, the Fukuoka Prefectural Police received several reports of large rubber ducts approaching the city of Fukuoka and congesting the waterways. During their investigation, the FPP was contacted by the Fukuoka Fun Factory, which claimed that 25 to 50 rubber duct flotation units have been stolen from their enclosure on an inlet of Hakata Bay. The first SCP-5406 instance was discovered when a local fishing boat attempted to remove a rubber duck from the inlet. Foundation assets intercepted the police report regarding the incident, which included photographic evidence of SCP-5406. In conjunction with the prefecture government, the investigation was reallocated to Foundation assets. Foundation investigative agents were sent to investigate the civilian company known as Fukuoka Fun Factory for possible connections to the origin of the SCP-5406. A total of 56 SCP-5406 instances were found within the factory's aquatic enclosure. Genetic analysis indicated that SCP-5406 is an undiscovered relative of the modern Aplacovora, mutated through continuous exposure to the factory's waste products, most of which were petroleum-based. Through litigious and financial pressure, the foundation forced the Kuroka Fun Factory to sell their manufacturing facility as well as their product enclosure. After significant modification, Site 402 was established on the property and aquatic containment habitat alpha around the aquatic enclosure. Site 402 Report Site 402 functions as a containment facility for SCP-5406 instances, as well a manufacturing facility for an entire housing unit required by new instances. The public branch of Site 402, the solutions for cumulative Petroleum Project is responsible for securing civilian contracts to expurgate petroleum-related aquatic contamination sites. Once a contract is secured, a Foundation Consumer Team will secure the perimeter of the contamination site and prevent civilian observation of the purging process. Aquatic Transportation Vessel 
Calypso 1, will transport the required number of SCP-5406 instances to the site, at which time it will release them. A temporary containment net will be established around the instances until the completion of the purging process. Once the process is complete, instances are returned to Site-402. In conjunction with the Department of External Affairs, the Solutions for Cumulative Petroleum Project collaborate with municipal governments to carry out Sumanitas Protocols. Sumanitas Protocols. The Solutions for Contaminative Petroleum Project is to organize public events in coastal regions heavily affected by petroleum-based pollution. Foundation Front Company, Sakura's Salvations and Parade, is to act as an intermediary between the Solutions for Contaminative Petroleum Project and public businesses. Sakura's Salvations and Parade is to solicit local vendors to provide food and beverages to civilians in the area. In addition, portable restroom facilities, child-friendly attractions, alcohol vendors, and other local event-oriented businesses are to be employed. During the event, SCP-5406 instances will be monitored at all times, with a perimeter established to prevent civilians from directly accessing the instances. As the day continues, Foundation personnel operating small boats surrounding SCP-5406 instances are to slowly herd the instances away from civilian population centers. The SCP-5406 instances are then to be collectively gathered and stored within Aquatic Transportation Vessel Calypso-1 and returned to Site-41. Under no circumstances is the biological nature of SCP-5406 instance to be revealed and are to be remain known as rubber duck flotation units housing a cutting-edge water purification system. The Solutions for Contaminative Petroleum Project has completed Sumnitus Protocols in the following cities. Note the number of Sumnitus Protocols completed in the area. Keelung, Taiwan, 2. Taosun, Taiwan, 1. Fukuoka, Japan, 1. Incheon, in South Korea, 2. Yasu, South Korea, 1. Seoul, South Korea, 3. Sydney, Australia, 2. As payment, the Solutions for Contaminative Petroleum Project collects 40% of all proceeds earned during the Seminatist Protocols. The Solutions for Contaminative Petroleum Project earns Site 402 an annual budget surplus of approximately 45 million US dollars, far exceeding the 5 million annual cost of operations due to the financial and ecological benefits of the program. Site 402 has been provided to continue operations until 2030, at which time its status will be re-evaluated.